The big story is not that our government is spying on terrorists. We know that, we want them to do that. The big story is that our government is spying on American citizens. Now, why is Obama, why is progressive government doing this? Obama's not particularly excited to prosecute the war on terror. He doesn't even want to call it a war on terror. But he's realized, even though he campaigned against Bush on the ground of civil liberty, now that he's in office, he's realized, you know what? Having all this information might be pretty useful. The writer Bernard Shaw once said that any government that robs Peter to pay Paul can always count on Paul's support. So we can understand why people who are beneficiaries of the government are going to be pretty excited about it. If the government were to come to you and tell you they're going to put money in your pocket, you'd be pretty excited too. But obviously Peter, whose pocket is being picked, is not going to be so excited. He's going to try to block this redistribution scheme. And wouldn't it be nice for the government to have a file on Peter? Wouldn't it be nice for the government to know where Peter's money is, and who Peter's been talking to, and what's in Peter's emails, and what are Peter's contact lists? Because if the government has that, they pretty much have the goods on Peter. They can use that information if they choose to, to enforce Peter's conformity with their redistributionist scheme. That, I believe, is a second, a deeper, and a more chilling motive for why the government is spying on its own citizens in the Obama era. America in theaters this summer.